hi guys welcome back to my channel today we will be talking about coral food i'll be target feeding i already have my little mixture ready right here i got some salt water from the aquarium and i mixed a little bit of these four i have over here amino acids coral nutrition ab plus um, I do like it, I just don't like the fact that I have to keep it in the fridge, so I'll be trying something uh, new soon because this one's coming coming to an end. I absolutely love the Min, a Min S. I use this sometimes on its own when I'm just looking to broadcast feed. Uh, the Benefits is new, I just recently started using it. Um, it's supposed to be more, how would I say, stringy for Ganyaporas, and I have quite a quite a bit of Ganyaporas, so I'm trying that guy out. And of course, your standard Refroids, Paul Paul Blav Refroids. So um, all four of them are mixed into here, and I'll be target feeding um, the corals. But before I do that, I need to feed the fish because otherwise they will be stealing the food from the corals. So I have some spirulina brine and some mices um, defrosted here. I don't wash it, but I do strain it. So I use this like plastic strainer to um, strain out the extra liquid that's in here. But otherwise I feel like my water gets cloudy, but um, you don't have to do that. So we'll be feeding the fish and then um, a little bit later feeding the corals. One thing I forgot to mention is that I like to um, include the Celcon vitamins and garlic guard, which is why I strain it because I added all this extra liquid supplements to um, the mysis and brine as it's defrosting. I started doing this a couple months ago just because my fish, all my fish were experiencing ick and um, ever since I've started, I actually feel like the ick is gone. So their immune system is back up uh, with these two products. So that's why I strain it. So we're gonna go ahead and feed the fish now. Fish feeding time. Just gonna lift the lid up. Throw that in there. The pumps are turned off right now. Look at them eat. Just gonna get actually a little closer. Coral feeding time. So I have this turkey baster and my flow is fully, fully off. I'm gonna feed some of these acans and blastos. Sometimes I have to come back to the same coral, give them a little bit of food then they're ready for more after. All right, so, I mean, I love my cyphastrias. I'm gonna put a little bit on top of my cyphastrias. These gonies just love it. I had a, a friend who had this massive colony of gonies and they started dying. And so I took a bunch of it in and brought them back to life. I'm gonna put some on this blue gunny, it's like a blue teal. These guys love it. Some people don't think that gunnies eat, but I definitely do. And I like to turn off my float entirely, not a single thing moving, um, other than the fish, because I find they eat so much better when the flow is off. So let me try and get these scolies at the back or in the middle. They're not gonna eat for a little while. I also have a little clam here. Get it, give it some food. Whoop, he's responding. 
<laughs> Look at how fluffy this play coral is. It's orange with like a blue base. This guy is a pretty good eater. I'm gonna put a lot on top of him. See how when the flow is off, it just accumulates? And there's some nice hot pink Ghanis back here. Some people don't think torches eat, but I noticed this guy eating, so I'm gonna feed him. My uh, Midas Blenny is my, my Midas Blenny and my cleaner shrimp are my biggest culprits when it comes to attacking corals to get the food out. So I think that they're reacting for sure. This guy I bought a year and a half ago and it had two heads. Right now, I can't even tell you, it probably has seven to nine heads. And I have not really been feeding it. I usually just broadcast feed that guy. I haven't noticed, I haven't noticed this green one eat like I've noticed this uh, dragon soul. This guy, I know what I need to do, I just haven't done it yet. This guy is dormant. He has not grown a single inch on his tips since I got him and I've had them for over a year. Or no, it's going on a year. All he's, all he's doing is basing out, but I need, I need to get a razor blade and just attack, attack the tips. And then he's going to start regrowing where I caused some minor damage. Just having some fun feeding everyone today. See the scullies are opening up. Okay, so the whole tank is now fed. And I'm just gonna leave the pumps and the return, like the wave maker and return pump off for the next 15 minutes to allow the corals to eat as much as possible without the disturbance of flow to take away their food from them. This allows them just an easier feed. So thanks for watching guys. I can't believe the growth that I've achieved over the last uh, five months in regular feeding. I will be doing a comparison video. My first video uploaded on the channel was five months ago. Um, and there is definitely an increase in major increase in growth in some of these corals. So I'll be doing a comparison video at some point.